Coach, uh, like I said, it, it was a close game, 17-10 loss for your team. Uh, just kind of give us a recap and uh, your thoughts from it. Uh, we ended up going into overtime 10-10, and they ended up scoring, and we got stopped at the one-yard line. Uh, our kids played really hard. Uh, we weren't happy with the outcome. Uh, I told the kids after the game, uh, the difference between a really good football team and an average football team is trying to figure out ways to win when you're in a uh, close football game. Coach Ray, clearly tough loss there, as you just mentioned, in overtime as well. But what did you, I guess, learn early on about your team getting into that situation and then trying to, I guess, figure out that next step that you just mentioned of getting better to be the ones on the winning side of things when it's all said and done? Uh, uh, our defense really stepped up really and played really well. Uh, we had three red zone stops. They only led to three points. I think they only got one field goal out of it. They scored early on the first drive once we settled in with our nerves. Uh, offensively, we just have to do better as a coaching staff. Uh, I, I kind of blame us coaches. We got coached a little bit better. But our kids never gave up. They, they fought all the way down to the last play. Besides that fighting down to the last play, what were some other things that really stood out to you about your team in that first game? Uh we were resilient. We had a lot of turnovers on defense. Uh, we did really well. We had turnovers on offense, but the kids never really gave up. Michael Thompson, I thought, played a really good football game outside of a couple trying to make big plays and forcing some things in there. Uh, our running backs did really well. Our, our wide receivers stepped up. We found some leaders. I'm not going to give out names, but we found some kids when it gets to that uh, – that point of the game where it's uh, what I'd call what not cutting time, but I don't know if I could say that. But uh, we found some kids who want to step up. Uh, we didn't give up. Uh, a lot of people looked at us and said that we had a moral victory, but we don't take moral victories here anymore. Uh, but we, I was very proud with the outcome, how we played the game. Uh, we didn't win, but, I mean, we played tough all the way through the game. You mentioned it being low scoring, a defensive battle. The one drive that you guys were able to get into the end zone, I guess what really stood out to you during that drive that was the difference behind getting into the end zone compared to your other drives that uh, you guys didn't get into. Uh, Javon ended up breaking off his route and went vertical. The guys, uh, they, we were sitting there. They gave us time. We got to the top. It was like we were covered, and Javon turned a sail route and went vertical. It was open to the deep end, and Michael caught it and threw a deep ball. Uh, we, we were able to get vertical there. They took away our vertical passing game very well last week. Did you dig on Governor Thomas Johnson this week? Uh, last year was a loss for your team. Um, what are you seeing from Governor Thomas Johnson this season, and what are some things that you think you'll need to do to get a win? Uh, TJ's very athletic. Uh, their their quarterback, I think they graduated the quarterback from last year, but the quarterback they have this year throws the ball pretty consistent. They have really good wide receivers. Uh, they got two running backs. If you let them in space, they can hurt us. Uh, defensively, we need to step up and slow down the run and make sure we don't give up any big plays in the pass game. And offensively, uh, we need to work it. They run a 3-4 defense. Uh, they keep two high safeties. We need to be smart with the football, trying not to turn it over as many times as we did last week, and I think that will be success for a win for us. You mentioned the turnovers there from last week in the loss. What are some things that you guys kind of put into place this week, gearing up for the game to really focus and make sure that uh, turnovers aren't an issue? Uh, we told Michael try not to win – Try not to win every time he throws the football. Michael, I think, tried to push himself and make some things happen last week. We told him just to relax and take what the defense gives you and not try to force stuff this year. Coach, what were some things that you think, uh, I guess, stood out to you that maybe seemed a little bit different than what you saw early in the season last year from your team? Uh, we didn't give up. Like, last year, once we would, like, what, we'd hit quicksand or adversity. Uh, I thought our kids last year didn't handle it that well. This year, uh, we, we I never thought a moment in the game on Friday that we couldn't win the football game. We had our opportunities to win. We just made a couple mistakes here and there. Uh, we had a rookie field goal kicker, first-year field goal kicker. Uh, hey, the two balls he kicked looked good. They were just a little bit wide left. Uh but that's the biggest thing. We have, we're resilient this year. I don't think our kids are going to lay down. They're handling adversity a lot better. 
I uh, guess another question just about your opponent in uh, Governor Thomas Johnson. Any other things that you feel like uh, you guys need to execute better on other than the turnover issue to come out on the winning side of things? Uh, I think we need to establish a little bit better run game. Uh, I thought that uh, we we struggled a little bit in the run game. Once we started picking it up, it started going well. But, I mean, other than that, I, we, the turnover issue is a big deal. If we can, if we can stay even or be in the plus, I think it's going to be good for us. All right, Coach, our uh, fun question this week is uh, with the NFL starting uh, on Thursday, do you have a Super Bowl prediction? Green Bay Packers. Don't care who they're playing. Green Bay Packers. Are the, are the Packers your favorite team? Yes, sir. All right, I mean, that's a good choice. Jordan Love, heating up. Could could be their year. We'll see. It, it, could, it could be their year. I mean, I'd really like to see the Cleveland Browns make it on the AFC side because I think if there's any team that needs to go to the Super Bowl, it's the Cleveland Browns, but that's irrelevant still the Packers. Have you ever gotten to uh, visit Lambeau? I've heard that has to be a bucket list for any NFL fan. That I have not been to Lambeau. I've been to a bunch of other NFL stadiums, but I've not been there yet. I've gone to several different to watch the Packers play, but I haven't been to Green Bay, Wisconsin yet. Oh, well, you gotta get All out right. there, Coach. Oh, believe me, it's on the bucket list for sure. Yeah, awesome stadium. Well, thank you for the time and uh, good luck this week against Governor Thomas Johnson. I appreciate it, guys. You have a good day. Thank you, Coach. All right, that was Coach Terry Ray on the line.